but wide receivers, AJ Green or the ghost of AJ Green because he was shot so many times by the Red Rifle. The red Rifle to... peppered him, bro. <laughs> peppered him up. <laughs> Cracked him. AJ what? Green to Arizona. I hope he comes back hot now. He might. Uh, I want up on the other side. AJ Green, if he can figure out He's what's wrong so with his sexy foot. On I feel paper. like it's his foot. And it's his so foot sexy. is always not okay. What a terrible thing to be wrong with a receiver, right? <laughs> You could actually still crush it if, like, your left shoulder is the problem. Or, like, like I, can, I even think the knee uh, reconstructions are a little better than, like, chronic foot issue yeah. for a receiver. They're cutting, and these guys are so good, like the Tyree Kills. I know it's the top tier. It's, like, numero uno. But he's so good at what he's doing. Him, Devontae Adams, whatever. So to be in that top tier now, you're breaking your own fucking ankles, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, if your foot's not good, I'm just so concerned. But on paper, what sounds exciting is D Hop AJ, right? We're forgetting that AJ's older than we want him to be. He's, a He's older than we want him to be. What uh it, Craig, give me a, give me an age on AJ Green right now. How old do oh you my think god. he is? Oh my god, yes. Let's oh my do god. An over yes, under. Let's do an over. Is he thing. is he over the age of 33? Over or under? Oh my god, that was the number I was gonna say. Shit. Okay. In my mind, Carson Palmer threw stuff to him. In my mind. He, he may have Carson Palmer could be 57 years old i think that feels so long ago that feels so fucking long ago aj green might be in the league 13 years 34 years old mike what do you think i googled it already because this was a craig question oh fair (laughs) uh he is 32 years old it was the under i'm not even 33 in july though he'll be 33 in july so okay so he's been in the league like 12 13 years he was drafted in 2011 less exciting now way less exciting because we we if if you if it's injury but you're in year like six it's like okay fucking that's the thing is is he had he had a lot of injury issues early yeah i I feel just i feel a lot worse about him they're not good because like ankle sprains foot pain like that kind of stuff not it doesn't it doesn't get better as you get older those joints only react worse to things as you get older. Factual. Uh, it's he, He's not – I'm going to regret it if he goes off or whatever, but it's just not going to be on my fantasy team unless he drops like a rock, right? If I'm getting value late, cool. But I'm not bringing him on the fantasy squad just because he's on the other side. I think they're hoping to use him as a decoy anyway to free up D-Hop even more because D-Hop's, you know, D-Hop. He's, he's, he's D-Hop. Well, I'm going to double dip Craig on this one so that Mike can talk about Kenny Galladay, but Will Fuller yeah. to Miami. Pretty exciting stuff. You like that deal? It's one year. It's only one year. But I love it. I love it. As a, it's a team a friendly the field guy. Team friendly, lightning quick. Yeah. Not Does the a PEDs. Tall... What's fine. that? Does the PEDs. Right. But well, did the PEDs, right? Did. It was last season. So. Does. Hold on. <laughs> Currently does. Unlikely. Did. 100%. 100% did that. Let's see if we can still get the rubber burners, if he can still turn it up without the peds, hopefully. But he was a burner. He was fast. His height is a concern. His height and weight is a concern. He's very small. He weighs what I weigh, so I don't love that. I really don't <laughs> like when my football players on my team have the similar specs. He's taller than me, but he weighs 181. I saw I, – that could be wrong. Spillane might have to check me up, but he is – uh a smaller dude, but boy, can he run and catch. So that's exciting. Devontae Parker needs someone to get some heat away from him to even be anything. So one of them should be getting the heat away from the other every single time. And we have two good tight ends and might have pits. So I'm putting pits in as second good tight end. I was like, who's the other tight end? I know in Got my it. mind, yeah. I was already he's, on pits. He's already there. Unfair. He's already in Miami in your I brain. am living my dreams because I believe in positivity. <laughs> I believe you say it and it could happen. So he's I was a Florida thinking, boy. He's a Florida boy. So he's wouldn't just that double to... Florida boy us up, right? We'd have Gasicki. We'd have, oh, we, have right, couple, right. we have a couple things going on in Miami, right? Not enough to fucking win the division. That's that sucks because Josh Allen's the, the, you know, the truth. That sucks. That sucks. But win some games. Win a few. Feel good. Mm-hmm. Mike Spillane, talk to me about Kenny Galladay coming to New York. What does that do for that receiving <laughs> core? What does that do for the Giants? What does that do for Danny Dimes? I mean, he's an immediate upgrade over Golden Tate, who was the knee-jerk reaction signing. 
to fuck we just traded away our franchise and Odell Beckham Jr. We got to bring in a name that people recognize and they went golden fucking Tate. Um, but I, I mean, Kenny Galladay is going to be something that gives people hope. You know, he's coming off of an injury riddled season, but before that he was one of the best deep ball threats in the NFL. Um, and he had a gunslinger in Stafford throwing to him. And I think hopefully um, next gen stats suggest, not hopefully I know this next gen stats suggest that, when throwing the deep ball, Daniel Jones was one of the more accurate quarterbacks in the NFL last year, throwing passes over 20 yards. Um, so there's a lot of hope in the fact that now knowing we have that guy that could be a deep threat down the line, because Kenny Galladay is six foot four and can get up there for contested catches. If his health is there, you know, there, it's something to be excited about. But for me, the, the real Giants excitement, I think, is actually going to be coming from the secondary. Like our secondary with the addition of a Dory Jackson, which I don't think any of us thought was going to be possible. Um, you know, he's one of the potentially can be one of the top five cover corners in the entire NFL. And now we have a Dory Jackson opposite of James Bradbury, who was a huge addition for us last year. And then we also have Logan Ryan, who is a huge acquisition mid year last year, along with, uh, Xavier McKinney and Jabril Peppers, who are two young safeties, one who's missed most of last year due to injury, but the other one who's proven to be a very athletic player, you know, uh, and then a lot of young pieces, Julian Love, Darnay Holmes, stuff like that. We have a secondary that could be really scary, which is where I think we actually improve the most. Uh, I think the addition of Kenny Galladay is great the addition of Kyle Rudolph to the tight end room to actually try and push Evan Ingram to be the potential of what we always wanted him to be. A guy that can two catch things, the football. Yeah, two things that are very important, but I think the the secondary is the most improved unit with that. So there's two other names on here that I, I kind of want to talk about, but I kind of don't want to talk about because I feel like we've spoken about Juju before and Curtis Samuels in Washington, and I think – the general consensus here is that Curtis Samuel and the Washington football team are um, not going to be good. Um, if you had to rank these guys from one to five in how they're going to play this season, statistically, how they're going to help their team out. Uh, we have AJ Green, Will Fuller, Kenny Galladay, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Curtis Samuel. How does your one to five look? Who's your, who's, I, I feel like there's going to be a consensus number one, but I don't know. So Mike, I want to start with you. Who's your number one and why? My number one is Kevin Galladay because he's the name on there that I look at as being the only number one receiver. You don't look at Juju as a number one? Was he last year? Mm, yes and no. He was sometimes oh. and other times he wasn't. Juju says she was sir? Yeah. yeah, I don't he's think the number he was the one. He's fucking number. What, what, who's the number one on that team then? Well, I mean, if you're looking at it from a fantasy standpoint, the number one wide receiver on that team is Chase Claypool by a country mile. But that then, right? <laughs> Good rookie, love the rookie, right? Got a little opportunity because he's a rookie. Juju's that the number one option on the team, and does the most. He like blocks. He said he does shit. He's very valuable. I, I think he's Dances their one. A lot. Number two, Craig, who you got? You got Juju at one. Who's your two? So, uh, hold on. Full disclosure. I, I heard Juju and came back in because I was like doing online internet research. Give me the question <laughs> from the start. My apology. One to five. We're going to rank the receivers in how we think they are going to affect their team this year. One being they are going to have the most effect. Wow. Five being they are not going to do a whole hell of a lot. And it could be anyone. Do I have to pick through the people on the list? The five that we have here, AJ Green, Will Fuller. Oh, shit. Hold on, let me get back to it. I fucked up. I was on something else. I fucked up. You, I you're fucked focused up. on other stuff. It's okay. Mike, give me your two, three, four, and five. Got it. So okay, so Frank's not going to like mine then most of oh, That's fine. That, we um, love debate. That's why we're, we're here. I'm back. I'm in it now. I'm fucking okay. in it. My bad. So... Uh, ranking them ranking them my number one is galladay mm -hmm. which i said no nope. uh my number two is going to be juju okay. my number three is going to be will fuller then curtis samuel then aj green okay so what i'll say in in regards to this i i understand what you're saying about juju i i 
I hemmed and hawed because I do think he's the number one option, but I do think there were points last season where Ben was like, nah, Chase is my guy. And he was, he was not looking at Juju. I think some of those times were at the detriment of that team because yeah. they did not play well down the stretch. Nope. Um, but what I think Kenny Galladay brings more than anything, more than Juju, more than Fuller, more than anyone, is he brings somebody that you have to double cover in the red zone. And Saquon Barkley can get to the second level, and you cannot, you cannot tackle that man like you tackle normal people because his thighs are the size of my torso. And I it's think true. that's going to change a lot of things for the Giants. I think that's yeah. going to lead to more touchdowns. And That's then if, if you're like, I'm going to stack the box, Kenny Galladay is six foot four and can jump very, very high. Yeah, you read about that. So I Mind feel good, into it. I feel talking good about it. your one. I very much like your one. I like the juju. I think Curtis Samuel is going to be sneaky personally. I don't know. I think Will Fuller is really? going to have a bigger, I think he's going to have a bigger effect. Will Fuller is going to have my three, a little bit of a misdirect. I like Fuller at three just because he does <laughs> you, create. You duped me. You did. fucking did a I duper did. on me. I'm like, man. He started making me think field. Curtis He's... Samuel should be my three. You fucking tricked me. You fucking tricked me. He stretches the field in a really nice way. And I think if Devonta Parker can stay healthy, you're, you're talking about a guy that's in a good, he's for me, he would be like in a 12, 18 range of receiver if he can stay healthy and has a viable option on the other side. So I love it. I feel good about it. Craig one through five. Wow. What do you got? Wow. I just got, I just got shook up. Because I had con- I had conviction, and now I feel like I was wrong. So I'm having that moment There's where no I was wrong. like, holy shit. This is all, all speculative, my guy. They might be right about Galladay. It's like, oh, no. I don't want him to be the one, but you made a very good argument that if Saquon is healthy, which I dream of. A, I have him as in, in a league where I could just keep him cheapies. In another league, I have Derrick Henry. And I hope both of them just run rampant just go baby they're so fun to watch those are two guys that you could flip on at any point and just enjoy yourself but it seems like it's Galladay and I I just I hate that you guys both made very strong arguments there Galladay Juju Fuller Samuel AJ Green AJ Green is poo is I think what we're (laughs) because he's older than we want and worse than we think right he's been so rifled like, too many times he got <laughs> if you go over the middle man i'm gonna go too high for you i'm gonna just make you stretch it baby i'm assuming he has that accent that might not be true that i mean who knows has anyone ever heard the red red, red?